Hello guys, in this short video clip I'd like to talk about safety uh, on the boat and I'd take you through some of the safety devices I have uh, on my vessel. I'd like to mention that nothing replaces a well-maintained boat and engine and nothing replaces common navigational knowledge and familiarizing yourself with the topography maps in the area you plan to sail. I have my uh, emergency safety clipboard here and uh, we'll start with uh, the fire extinguishers. These two uh, fire striker fire extinguishers they are absolutely necessary in any uh, fuel-powered uh, vessel. The advantages of these are uh, over the normal conventional fire extinguishers uh, is that um, they do not expire, they do not have to be checked, uh, pressure checked, and they can discharge for up to 25 seconds each. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the common uh, uh, powder fire extinguisher, which I also have in here, that's a normal two kilogram one that discharges for about nine seconds and it makes a mess this does not make a mess when it's discharged it's easily cleaned up and in case of an engine fire i can deploy it through this hole otherwise i just open the engine hatch anyway that's fire extinguishers very important on the boat and they should be easy accessible Still on the topic of fire, I have the fire blanket. It's uh, also very important in my opinion. This is a marine uh, emergency light. It's a sort of a replacement for the conventional flares that you strike and hold. Uh, those burn a couple of minutes. Uh, this is a strobe LED powered. It sends out the SOS strobe and uh, uh, at intervals and then it can light for up to eight hours contrary to a normal flare I think it's uh, uh, approved it's, it, on the paper it was approved by the US uh, Coast Guard or something uh, it can be seen for up to eight nautical miles then your safety vests these cannot be underestimated um, Many countries don't have a requirement that you should wear them, but you should have them on the boat. But I, of course, advise that uh, they be worn. This is a spin lock model. It has the lights that coming on in, when it comes in contact with water. It's very lightweight, and the reason I opted for this model was because it uh, doesn't feel as heavy as the other conventional ones. Here, I have a PLB, which stands for personal locating beacon but this particular model you can put in uh, your uh, M MSI number and then it becomes an e -pub. an e -pub. and the e -pub stands for emergency uh, P, uh, position I identification L locating beacon e -pub. yeah that was difficult then I have something extra here which is actually a lanyard and uh, many of you have seen with your outboard motors a, a kind of a, a, a rope a thread that goes from the captain's belt to the motor so if he falls in water it pulls out a kill switch and the motor dies but I have a diesel engine so that's not possible and then I go around and fish a lot uh, out and the stern the, out on the deck and uh, it's impossible to, to be pulling a rope all around the boat it'll get tangled and it's actually a safety risk so I have this wireless uh, device that I have around my wrist now this wireless device is coupled to the control unit there and that is uh, connected to the ignition so if this comes in contact with water and goes uh, underwater if I remember correctly I think it's uh, 20 to 30 centimeters of water it automatically uh, breaks the signal the wireless signal between it and the control switch 
and uh, shuts off the motor, then I maybe have a chance to catch up with my boat. Uh, otherwise, I can risk that the autopilot, which is usually activated when I sail, continues sailing my boat off if I happen to fall into the water. Uh, coupled with safety, it's very important to have a navigational uh, chart uh, plotter. You will notice I have my radar that's activated. Uh, I have the sonar. Uh, it's a fish finder and it's a depth finder. So it tells you uh, the depth of the water and an alarm can go off so that you don't sail onto shallow ground. Uh, apart from that, I have the AIS, the Automatic Identification System, uh, which uh, many uh, vessels, especially the commercial vessels, have, and it uh, informs me of their presence uh, when close by. I would also uh, uh, emit my own identification signal and show up on their own instruments. Coupled with safety, the VHF marine radio, very important. I do also have uh, a uh, portable a mobile VHF radio which I have when I go uh, out uh, larger distances and away from the coast and that's important uh, to have with you a very nice addition uh, safety wise the radar as you can see activating there and uh, lighting up all the obstacles in the closest vicinity. Uh, need I mention it's always good with a backup chart plotter in case one fails. I have the iPad here running Navionics. You can also run a Garmin mobile blue chart I think it's called. I have a backup chart plotter there and fish finder and here I have another uh, chart plotter out on the deck. That's uh, Aha, uh -huh. need I forget? Your bilge pumps. If you start taking water, taking in water, it's uh, very, very uh, good to be alerted early. So I have a bilge alarm. Now that gives a deafening uh, uh, squeal if it's activated and it's lying down in the keel of the boat the lowest point which is where water would uh, accumulate first and then I'd be uh, informed that water is coming in and I can uh, investigate and this is of course the automatic bilge pump it's set on auto that means once there's water it activates automatically and pumps the water out and if the electric system fails the OCTU 815 which is this vessel comes with a manual hand pump and uh, there's a saying that says the best bilge pump is a panicking man with a bucket so <laughs> that's nice to have anyway that was it about uh, an overview of the safety uh, gizmos I have I probably have forgotten something but um uh, ask feel free to ask if you want to and uh, subscribe to the channel bye as a supplement to safety I forgot to mention I knew I was going to forget something uh, so I just made this little clip to insert um, it's nice to have a floodlight an overhead floodlight so on the top of the boat uh, you can see it in some of the other uh, video clips in the series I have a go light uh, floodlight and it's manually controlled so I can uh, control the direction with this joystick and this is to activate and deactivate the go light in case you need to Im illuminate your surroundings and it's particularly useful when you come into a dock and visibility is poor. A horn very very important especially with a uh, when you're trying to get somebody's attention out there and only to be used in emergency situations. Of course the normal safety indicator lights for all um, uh, marine engines and make sure they're working. Thanks and subscribe to the channel. Bye.